Hello, welcome to episode 358. We have updated the mob death checking for the tower defense to version 1.19.4. This is a request by Torin. Uh, the last version in 1.19 had the problem that if they walked on top of each other, it would all mess up, which isn't really very good because you might want some going fast, some going slow. So now, oh, there he goes. Well, we get no points for him because he's going to make it to my tower. Uh, okay, let's turn off movement. Let's have uh, two standing on top of each other. Now let's check the points value. Data points seven. So each one's going to give me seven points. Let's kill one. I got seven points for that one. Let's kill that one. And I got seven points for that one. So even though they're in exactly the same spot, they're not messing each other up. So now you can have them go different speeds, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so this one, as I say, requested by Torren. And with a little bit of help for the commands from uh, Gal Sergi. So let's get on and build it now. Okay, we're going to need some scope one objectives. I want one to use as a timer because we don't need to be running this command um, 20 times a second. Once a second is okay because we're going to be checking when the mob dies and it takes a second to die. So as long as we're doing it at least once a second, this will work. So we'll have scoreboard objectives, add timer. It'll be a dummy. That's my timer. Okay. And let's create some more impulse to chain, always active. Um, I'm going to want some points. So this will, each each mob can store its own points, how much it's worth when it dies. And I want a global score for points. This will do both of those. And I want to know if the, <coughs> if the marker is, if the marker's mob that it's riding is in the process of dying, I want a boolean value, so I want a zero or a one, then we'll call that death mob. Done. So if the mob is in the process of dying, we'll set that to one. Right, we're gonna need to summon something. We're gonna summon it here. Let's let's do a little bit of setup. Let's uh, get some green wool, let's get some red wool. This is where we'll summon it. He's gonna walk here. This is gonna be my tower. That's where I will lose points if he makes it that far. This is going to be the summon. Summon. Okay, we're going to summon here. Fill, tab, tab, tab. Control, copy. Okay, I am going to summon. I'm going to use a husk because he doesn't burn in the daylight. Actually, I just copied those coordinates. That's all they're for. Right, let's give it some information. It's going to have some tags. Why, well, it's going to have one tag. My mob. It's going to have a passenger so passengers list we have one passenger passenger is going to be id minecraft marker so he's got a marker riding on him he's got a marker in his pocket um and i want that marker to have tags as well tags and that's going to have one tag it's going to be death detector because that's its job it's to detect when its vehicle dies its vehicle is the husk um, and I want to give it some data as well, and that's going to be some points. So I'll give it some custom data, data, and in here we'll say points seven. So if this dies, we're going to get seven points for it. Um, I also think I want no AI. I don't want it walking off by itself. And for the testing purposes, I don't want it to make any noise. Okay, let's summon that. You look good. How you doing? Cool. Let's have a look at him. Let's point at him so we can get his UUID. Data, get, entity, there's his UUID. Let's have a look. Okay, he's got a passenger. Passengers, marker, death detector, that's good. And he's got the tag by mob. Right, where's the points? Okay. I don't see the passengers points, motion. Points, there it is, like passengers, motion, data, points. Cool, so that's got everything on that we need. Let's make a way to kill them easily. Kill for testing. We will just do kill, it's only a testing command, so uh, we'll just say tag equals my mob. I only want to kill one at a time, so I'll put limit equals one. Cool. All right, great. Now we need to sort out getting those scores. If he dies, the marker needs to know about it, and it needs to give me, or the global score, the score. 
right, so let's do a controller for that. And we also only want it to run once every 20 ticks. So the first thing we're going to do is scoreboard, players, add. But we need a fake player. I'm going to call them death check. This is how often we're going to check to see if the mob has died. Timer one. Okay, so that's going to tick up. And then if it gets to 20, we'll do something. So execute if score death check timer matches 20 or higher so if it does get to 20 then we will store success as a score on the fake player death check and we'll store it into their timer so if we get a success on this command, we'll store a 1. If we get a fail, we'll store a 0. Either way, we're basically resetting that. So it's going to keep looping around. OK, but we're also going to do as entity type equals. Let's not put that space in there. Type equals marker tag equals death detector detect hot and so now we're running as the marker. Uh, we're going to store success as a score on that marker into its death mob score. OK, so if we get a success, we'll store a 1, which means the mob is dying. If we get a fail, we'll store a 0, meaning the mob isn't dying. OK, so now we need to check the marker's vehicle. So we'll move the command onto the vehicle, which is the husk. And we'll say unless data entity at s, and we're going to check its death time. Death time zero. So if its death time is zero, this command will fail and we'll store a zero into the marker's death mob value. But at the same time, we're also resetting, here we go, the timer. Right, cool. So those are going around once every 20 ticks. Now let's do some stuff. So we want, now we want to check if, it, if the death mob score equals zero, then the mob is not dying, we don't do anything. So we just want to check if it's one. So let's do execute as any entity whose type equals marker, whose tag equals death detector, whose scores equals death mob your mob is dying okay now i'm going to copy that shift home and copy that because we're going to use that again uh, i'm going to put a random command here i'm just going to say death so every time one dies it says death you might want to change this you might want to every time one dies you increment a death counter so total mobs killed this this round or something i'm just going to leave it say death and now let's copy that bit we copied let's paste that bit we copied Execute at type marker, tag death detector, scores death mob. And we will store result as a score onto that marker into its points. We will run data get from an entity from that marker. And we're going to get data dot points. So we're going to take that seven we've got stored as a custom tag and we're going to copy it into an actual scoreboard. So we can access it later. Done. And then what we're going to do is paste again. Execute as type marker, tag death detector, scores equals death mob. And now we're going to take that score, scoreboard, players, operation. We're going to have a fake player. We'll call them global. And points. And we're going to plus equals the markers points. So we've taken the points from the custom tag or the custom data, we've saved them into a scoreboard and now we've added those points to the global score and now we will, we'd better kill that marker. So let's paste again, but instead of doing execute as, we'll do kill and we'll kill that marker. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That should be done. Let's uh, F3D, clear the chat. Let's turn that on. Let's summon a, a, a dude. Let's get myself a sword. Now, it doesn't matter how these guys die. 
Uh, we also better do scoreboard, objectives, set display to the sidebar. Points. Got no points at the moment. Let's kill this guy. Ooh. Okay, well, we didn't get any points. Interesting. Let's have a quick check to see if we've made any silly mistakes. Well, it's definitely turned on. Okay. 630. Well, that's too high, isn't it? It shouldn't be 630. So we've got a mistake here. And in fact, it's telling us at the end. Let's have a look and see what we've done. Execute if score. Death check timer matches 20. Okay, that sounds all right. Let's check the name is correct. It doesn't seem to be saying the name is wrong. Death check, yeah. Execute your score. Death check timer matches 20 or higher. Store success as a score. Ah. Here. Let's change that to death check timer. As any entity, type is a marker, tag equals death detector. There we go. That looks all right. Yeah. Store success as a score on yourself into death mob on your vehicle unless data entity add s death time. Okay. There we go. So it didn't like us using the. Uh, at S, that was a bit silly. We had to put the actual name death check timer. So we got seven points. Nice bit of troubleshooting. I'll leave it in. It's always handy sometimes to see the troubleshooting. Okay, now if we summon another one and I kill it myself, I'm still going to get the points. Right. So it doesn't matter how that husk dies. If that husk dies, that marker is going to say, ah, my vehicle is in the process of dying. I will give you my points and kill myself. Right, so that's all fine. You can kill that any way you like. Even if uh, another mob kills it, you strike it with lightning, whatever you want to do. Let's not have that. I'm going to make another controller now, because if he gets to my tower, I don't want to get points. So let's do controller. I'm going to call it move, just because that's the first thing it's going to do. And we'll change that to a lever. Right, let's get him let's get him walking with some amazing pathfinding. Execute as any entity tag equals my mob um, at S run TP yourself forwards. There we go. So he's gonna start walking. Let's summon one. Off you go, yep, yeah, that works. Okay. Now, I want him to die when he gets to the block, so let's do super simple. Let's do execute as any entity whose tag equals my mob at yourself if the block um, minus 0.2, probably do, is red wool. So if the block you're standing on is red wool, uh, then kill yourself. Run, kill, oh. okay. Now you can see the problem here is we're killing, we're killing the husk, which is the vehicle. So you know, would be right in thinking, well, surely if he dies, the marker's just gonna give me the points. So I've got 14 points and now I've got 21. Yeah, so we're gonna have to kill that marker first. That marker is the one that's gonna have to die. So let's control middle mouse and copy that. So we've got the same command, we'll put it on the end. And then before we get him, all we're going to do is we're going to go into here, say, right, execute, execute as any tag my mob. If they're standing on red wool, then before we run, we will, we will move the execution of the command to on passengers. So now we're jumping from him to the passengers, which is just the marker, and we're killing the passenger. So now, Passenger dies first, then the husk dies. We should be all right. So we've got 21 points now. And we've still got 21 points. Cool, so that seems to work. Now, the advantage of this system is you can stack them all up on top of each other. Here we go. We've got three on top there. We've got 21 points. Um, it's not breaking. 
we can kill one like that. There we go, I've got 28 points. Let's kill one with the sword. Now I've got 35, let's kill this one. Now I've got 42. Cool. So they can walk through each other, they can stand on each other. It's not going to ruin the system like the version we had for 1.19. This is a much more robust system. Okay, there we go. Job done. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, unless you want to see anything else, you want to make any other changes, just chuck a comment down. Uh, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye bye.